In this video I will show you guys how to install unofficial language patches for Japanese or maybe different language games on PlayStation Vita which aren't in English at all. So this game right here, um, I can't even remember the name of it to be fair, but as you can see it's completely in Japanese. Even if I start the game up I won't be able to understand any of it and there isn't even like, any kind of option to actually change this to English so obviously I can't understand this game. Now what some people do is they actually create unofficial patches for this game so they patch the whole game into English so if you only speak English or you can speak English then you'll be able to understand the game so I don't know even one word in Japanese um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start the game as you can see some of it is in English but right here at the menu screen I literally have no idea what to do so somebody has made a patch for this and um, to be honest, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I know a new game. Let me try and start a new game and just see what happens. But yeah, someone has made a patch for this, which adds in English, and um, just so we can play it pretty much, because I know some people um, want to play this and they just can't understand it at all. So yeah, I will show you guys how to get that. Now this will be different for every game, but there should be patches and guides which show you how to install it for each game. And the guy that's made the patch for this game has actually made a few more, and I will show you his name when I'm over on my computer. So what we're gonna do we are going to go and open up Vita Shell. Make sure to close down your game. Um, so let's just go and find Vita Shell. Let's just go and start it up. And then once Vita Shell loads, obviously we need to connect our PS Vita to our computer. So you can press select, you can go and connect it, and I will show you where to get these patches. Okay, so I can remember the game now. It's called Muso, I probably pronounced that wrong, Stars. Anyway, this is the English patch, and it was recently released by Freud underscore San. So hopefully I pronounced that right as well. Anyway, over on his Reddit, he's actually got quite a few games. So I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Um, his account is somewhere here. So yeah, on his account, he has got quite a few um, different types of patches on here. Now, of course, you can find your patches from wherever you want. Um, this is a patch for the Japanese version. Um, and there's some other patches on here. The Lie, the Prince and the Blind, that's a patch as well. I think that's a PS Vita game, I'm not too sure. Or is that Nintendo Switch? I don't know. Anyway, there's a few patches for different types of games on here. And um, yeah, I'm on this one. So basically, whatever patch you have, you want to find where the download link for the patch is. So this one is right here, the English patch for repatch. We're going to click on this and it's going to bring us to a Google Drive page. So we have to do is just click on the blue download button, just like you do with every Google Drive download. I've already downloaded it. This patch was actually um, 1.10 gigabytes, so quite a big file, but if you're really into a game, then it's probably worth it. And it gives you the options or how to install it right here. So it says, install the base game, the game update. So I've already got my game on the latest version. Run the game and check it's working. We've already done that. And now what we have to do is copy the app and repatch folder to the root of our PS Vita's UXO. We also need NOMPDRM repatch installed. Well, we've already got NODPRM because we're playing a game. And then um, repatch, we should have that installed as well. I've got a video on that on my channel if you do not have it. And yeah, so that's literally it. We can now go to our downloads folder. There's also additional notes here. Um, so it says don't change English subtitles and all that kind of stuff. You can read through if you want. We just need to go to our downloads folder, find our patch file. And what we actually want to do is just double click on it and we can just find the folders inside. So all we need to copy across is the app folder and the repatch folder. So we can actually select both of these. And if we connect our PS Vita, so there you go, my PS Vita is now connected and we can simply just drag and drop these two folders on the root of our PS Vita. Seeing as I'm connecting it via USB, it's automatically going to be our UXO. If you're using the FTP server, make sure you just put it in the UXO, fo UXO folder. And there you go, we can now wait for this to transfer across. Well, it's now extracting, so you've got to wait for it to copy as well. And that is literally it. So um, it should start copying now. And now when it's done copying, what I do is go back onto my PS Vita and show you guys the patch and hopefully it should be working. Okay, so back off the computer. Now we can check out the game and see if the English patch has actually been installed and if it's actually working. So let's just go ahead and start up the game right now. Now, if you did it successfully, you should actually get this screen that says this is an English port of Musu Stars. So if you get to this screen, you should know it's working. It's also got the developer's name down there. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing now. I'm just pressing random stuff. But let's just do story mode, I guess. Circle, new game. So I don't know how much is in English. Maybe these subtitles here are in English as well. 
Oh, perfect, they are. Okay, that's actually really cool. So that is how you um, get this. Obviously, we can play the game as well. Let's just start the game real quick and see what that's like as well. So this bit is all in Japanese. Loading is in English down there. But um, let's just load it up. Oh, and also the subtitles down there in English. So that is really cool. And um, yeah, so that is how you... Um, get this working I guess that is how you install the English patch now obviously this is different for every game well not really different maybe there just might be like different patch files and stuff you guys will have to find those they're all over online you can probably type in a game and type in English patch after it and um, you know just on Google and it will probably come up with a game so you can actually find them they're not really that hard to find I just wanted to show them with this game because it was on Wololo and it just looked like a pretty good game in the first place so that's pretty much it for this video that is how you install English patches for Japanese games or maybe games in other languages as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.